All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the Tier 10 Progetto 65. Now, this is an Italian autoloader tank, and in my opinion, this tank is being used less and less and less, especially after the TVP came out. A lot of players actually switched more over to the TVP, in my opinion, than the Progetto, and this tank has pretty much lost its whole charm. Now, the thing is, when the Progetto actually came out, it was very, very, very strong. And of course, Wargaming, as they always do, they nerfed the hell out of it. And players, especially pro, pro players, stopped using it in tournaments. And um, this is something Wargaming always does. They bring in a new, really, really strong tier 10, and then they nerf it without actually testing the tank uh, before release properly typical wargaming they did that with a t100 lt for example the most recent one and of course the progetto obviously fell out of the pro players favor now in regards to like average and normal players again the tvp uh, after the uh, tvp came out the progetto became less and less used at least in my opinion simply because the tvp was faster it had a nicer gun and in general the drum was quite nice on that thing the Progetto, on the other hand, it doesn't have the best gun handling as well as accuracy, of course, especially on the move. And on top of that, the uh, the speed is mediocre, of course, and the armor is non-existent, especially on the turret. The only place where the armor is actually really good is the upper plate. And sometimes even 152 millimeter guns will not be able to penetrate you under an angle. So all of this is great, but again, the Progetto is a medium, it's not a heavy tank, and it's not meant to be tanking shells. Most of the time, everyone's going to go through you like butter, and of course, the turret, again, is very, very weak as well, and can be HE'd on the sides. So that is a big, big weakness. In the positives, of course, it's still relatively mobile, you know, I wouldn't say it's super duper slow, but it, it's slower, it's on the lower end of the scale for mediums. The gun is quite inaccurate, yes, you do have like an auto reloader that's pretty good and you will pretty much take out any medium tank one-on-one -on -one if you manage to penetrate every single shot and if you heard me correct i said penetrate every single shot because if you miss one or two or don't pen those well your dpm is going out the window so this tank can only be good if you manage to hit all of your shots. And again, this is quite hard and not all the newer players can actually do that. So tell me what you guys think about this tank in the comment section below and why it fell out of the player base's favor. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.